I'm a huge supporter of employees volunteering for making science make sense because we are very passionate at Bayer about science and it's an opportunity for each of the employees to share that passion with the next generation. Growing up, you know, I really got excited about science when we started having labs, when we started doing fun things. The first time I dissected a worm, I was hooked. You can't do justice to a career in the sciences just through reading a textbook. Experimental learning is essential for children's development. They must be allowed to try, fail, and get better. That's how discovery really happens. For us to continue to grow and to really improve people's lives the way we want to, we need a steady stream of scientists. We need to really encourage students, get them excited, get them passionate about a career in the sciences. It is important that adults share that passion and show that uh, excitement to the next generation. We're competing against video games that are exciting and we're competing against, you know, with theme parks that are thrilling. So it's important that they also see that STEM and innovation and engineering can be just as exciting. It's getting harder for me to get good scientists, so I'm 100% supportive of my team volunteering to support making science make sense. Just from the selfish point of view of making sure we have the talent we need to do what we want to do in terms of advancing sciences globally. Not only does it help the students, but my team comes back so excited and feeling really like they're doing good and that they're helping to create those future scientists that Bayer needs. We have great experts who have a great vast amount of knowledge and passion that it is so important to pass down to the next generation. Science is you know, the backbone of what we do and science for a better life is really our aspiration. Students emulate what they see and, and if you're excited about what you're doing, if you really show them with a passion the fun problem solving and the experiential nature of sciences, I'm really confident that we will get you know, lifelong scientists out of it.